So in October, I am going on the knitting tour with Stitch Up here to West Yorkshire. And I couldn't help but inspire my project by the Yorkshire Dales knitters. Even though we are not going to Yorkshire Dales, I just, I, am, I have been fascinated by the history of Yorkshire Dales knitters for a long, long, long time. And I just couldn't help myself. If you've ever been interested in the history, I recommend a few books. I will link them in the description box below. Also, Anne Kingston website and blog. She has a wealth of information about Yorkshire Dales knitters and Yorkshire Dales and the history of knitting in, in those parts. And one thing that I've been really always fascinated by is the Yorkshire sheath. So the Yorkshire folk has knitted using an aid called the Yorkshire sheath. And it is a fantastic tool that aids you knitting. So basically, if you think about it, in the olden days, no moment was wasted. So your hands were never idle. I mean, I remember from my, from my own grandmother, she was sitting, she was knitting, crocheting, butter churning, anything. Your hands were constantly at work. And this tool has really aided the speed and efficiency of knitting. So even though I'm just playing around, so by no means I am an expert at it at all, I just thought I'd show you how to use one of these because they are absolutely amazing and it's fascinating. So the Yorkshire sheath were very often handmade and um, I got my one from a um, like a kind of antique web website. I don't know how old it is or anything, but if you look at it, it's really, if I show, show you a little bit closer, you can see that it's really nicely worn and it's really nice. So on top they have a hole where your knitting needle would go. Obviously they are used for knitting with double-ended needles. So your needle, your needle point will, will, go, will go in here. And this is nicely curved to go in your waistband. So you put it in your belt or very often they will also tie a string and just wrap it around your waist. So you place it in your waist, in your belt or your waistband. So it lies here and then you can start using it. So when I knit collar work, I knit it with the two-handed method. So one collar is in my right hand and one collar is in my left hand. So one hand is the English way and one hand is continental way. Now, from what I gathered from what Anne Kingston said, again, I will link Anne Kingston website and blog in the description box, box, box below. She believed that the, that, that the Yorkshire Dales knitters, they knitted collar work with one-handed method which means that they have the two collars in one hand so the English way I am very useless at knitting in this way because I mean I can I suppose but it it takes a while to get into the swing of things I think with some practice I would do a lot better. However, when the, where the Yorkshire shift comes into play is you will grab your needle, insert it into the, into the hole on the top of the shift and you will start knitting. So you see, it just aids you and you just knit nicely along, you see? So you kind of hold your needle. So obviously as your work grows, it will stay on this needle, this, this needle inserted into the shift and it makes it very very useful tool so they often use it when they were walking sitting and working so Yorkshire knitters knitted for a job they knitted gloves and garments and everything was done as a job so knitting on the go was of the utmost importance now this is what I believe this tool comes useful because it's really so really aid your knitting when you walk in and knitting or just doing stuff around the house because when you need to tend to your cooking or your ba baby you will literally do this just stop you see your knitting stays with you all the time you will do the stuff you actually need and then simply get back to it i'm not following the pattern at all i'm just showing you how how to knit so basically you will continue to knit when you finish whatever you needed to do and then when one needle becomes free this one becomes free you take it out insert this one in the free one in and you continue to knit you see it is extremely extremely useful little, little tool it also it's very easy on your hands and it's actually a lot of fun to do to be fair 
it really is a lot of fun to use and I can see how incredibly useful this is obviously as I practice more I'm sure I will get really good at it and I will be I actually I'm sure I'll be able to actually walk and knit with it but you know anyway I hope you enjoy this little this little look into knitting with a Yorkshire shift and again try the read the books i will link them in the description bo box below and check out ann kingston like website and blog she is absolutely amazing so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video then please do like subscribe and comment thank you so much